Hi, Mush. It's Naima. Thank you so much for texting me today. Um, I'm going to save you some time from the Zoom, and I'm going to quickly show you what, you know, a peek into our classroom so that you can see what I've been sending out. Um, I'm assuming it's from Revit, and I'm really curious. Uh, you don't have to tell me. Please don't tell me who <laughs> reached out to you because I have really been trying to reach out to the students, and I think it started off here. So back on February 8th, because we were coming up on a holiday, I wanted to reach out to people because we weren't having class on a Monday when that's usually when the new assignments open up and they had until Tuesday this week. And so what I did is I just I wanted to do a couple notes and I just said I opened up part one and part two of this module for you. So rather than opening up one week and then the next week, I did both. And then I wrote, no rush. I see that some of you are completing your work early and I wanted to give you the chance of what's coming up. Um, so, you know, they got essentially two assignments in one week, but they still had the same amount of time to do it um, as if that they had been uh, opened up separately. Okay, so again, I didn't expect them to do both of them in that week. And then after that, um, after this announcement, that following week, I did have people email me and say, hey, are we going to get homework this week? So a week later on the 16th, I sent out a reminder. Hello all, I sent out an announcement at the beginning of last week, but it looks like many of you have missed it since I haven't seen a lot of the comments. Here's a link to our announcement, please take a look. I've also added some information this morning that could be helpful. So this just takes you right back to where we were. Now, in addition to that, I have also um, set, you know, I, I've had this here. Um, I did a YouTube video that goes through the clarification as well. I don't know what to tell you. So essentially what it was, they had an assignment, and I'll show you what this looks like. Um, but we had a part three a module three part one and then we had a part two right here I know this is a little bit confusing oh sorry so the interior elevations was the part one and so with part one what I did is I let people turn it in I graded it I mocked everything up and then after they got credit I reopened the assignment so that they could fix those things and turn it back in um, so I don't know why they're confused, <laughs> but so see how it says it's due February 15th. So I kept the due date of February 15th, but if you look, um, the assignment wasn't actually due until, oh, I gave them a little extension. Sorry. It was due yesterday, but I had two people email me last night and they were like, um, so right here. She's like, hey, now that I had time to go fix it, it's already locked. So I just said, shh, I'll extend it until Friday. So this was all this morning before you even texted me. I don't need to think that I'm doing this stuff to try and save face. Um, oh, look, here's another thing I sent out on the 24th. Please remember, you have until the end of the day on March 1st to revise and resubmit your plan sets for Module 3. Okay. How to view your assignment feedback. Here's another YouTube video. So whoever is asking you these questions, Hello, I'm curious if they've reached out to me. Um, so I'm reaching out. I'm very much okay. Everything's been going really well this semester. You know, just the normal string of stuff. Um, but I will admit, I think that I don't know why I, I need to like get therapy for this. It hurts my soul when people reach out to you instead of me because I'm always here. I, I've never checked out. In fact, I'm so present that right now I'm going through this like midlife crisis of how do I get some of my life back so that I can reinvest it in myself and my family because I, I love my students so much but I'm slowly starting to realize that I'm not as important to them, you know, as I, as I make myself out to be. Um, 
and that's like an ego thing. So I'm trying to make it so that texts like this don't hurt as bad because they shouldn't. It's just part of life, but it's hard when you do so much and the only thing that you hear about is, you know, the people who are like, well, where are you? What's going on? Anyway, but I hope you're doing well. I miss you. This is probably just another um, symptom of COVID teaching and it will be over soon. I truly love you and I hope you had a wonderful birthday and um, I can't wait to hug you. Thanks for reaching out. Bye, Mudge.